6. The intelligences of the Venus Sphere It will be the next task of the magician to get into contact with the intelligences of the Venus Sphere and to get them, step by step, also under his complete control. He also achieves this goal either by way of evocation or by mental wandering. Having done the three above mentioned spheres first, which, as said before, are very important, the magician has drained well his magic faculties by enlarging them and making his spirit superior to everything. The magician is therefore well prepared for making further contacts and may confidently try to get into touch with the intelligences of the Venus Sphere. It should be mentioned at the beginning that all intelligences of this sphere are of a fascinating beauty and power of attraction, which, unfortunately, has sealed the fate of many a sphere magician, or has, at the least, hindered him from further development. If the magician allows himself to be enthralled by the extraordinary beauty of the intelligences of the Venus sphere, he is giving up his chances for further magic development, for he will, in consequence, again and again be attracted by the Venus sphere until finally his further intercourse with this sphere will be equivalent to a pact. Not only the positive, but also the negative intelligences of the Venus sphere are of diabolic beauty and seductive character. Thus great steadfastness is needed to resist their temptations. The Venus sphere has an oscillation intoxicated with love, which puts any sphere magician into a state of happiness that may be compared with an ecstasy of love, so that he is often tempted either to remain in that sphere with his mental body, which, no doubt, would cause his physical death, or to visit that sphere again and again. If the magician is overcome by such temptations he by and by becomes completely enthralled by this sphere and will find it hard to get out of it again. His development to perfection then becomes quite impossible for a long time, if not for his lifetime. The magician, however, who has worked systematically at his development and who has worked himself through the above mentioned spheres in the order suggested and thus gained a strong character and a complete magical equilibrium and become master over his faculties and qualities, having reached the state of spirit superior to everything, can confidently travel to higher spheres including the Venus sphere. Therefore every magician should first test himself to see if he has the necessary maturity, power and steadfastness. Below is a description of 90 intelligences of the Venus Sphere with whom I have been in contact formerly and whose names and seals might only be known to a few Sphere magicians and initiates. Besides these intelligences, there are a few others in the Venus Sphere about whom other authors have written in their books, for instance Hagiel, and which have not been included in this work, since their names and seals are generally known and easily obtainable. In order not to make this volume too large, the positive intelligences are described only in a few words, for it is possible for the sphere magician to get into personal contact with every single intelligence and to enlarge his knowledge by practical work. In general, the seals of the Venus intelligences have to be drawn in green color at the time of the first evocation. Also in this case the magician must be careful to reproduce the signs in the same colors as given in the appendix of this book. The graduation, in analogy to the zodiac, which can be found under each seal, is the key to the relevant influence of each intelligence on our zone girdling the earth, and from there on man in all three planes, i. e. his mental, astral and physical bodies. This knowledge is of great importance from the point of view of the astro quabalistic science. 1, Omar, 2, Oduo, 3, Obayade, 4, Onami, 5, Osfi, 6, Orif, 7, Obne, 8, Ojimi. These eight intelligences of the Venus sphere have all the same range of power. They may be regarded as excellent initiators into erotic and sexual mysteries. They completely control the electrical and magnetic fluid, especially with regard to the magic of love. The magician may learn from these intelligences how to practice sexual magic with the help of these fluids, how to produce love amulets, in which way the oscillation of the Venus sphere can be created, and they like to inform the magician about many other magical practices. 9. Euler, 10, Oza, 11, Oena, 12, Obata, 13. Oga, 14, Ubk, 15, Otra. 
Dash the intelligences numbered 915 are initiators with regard to the fertility of men and women. They are representatives of peace and of marital happiness. Assisted by these intelligences, the magician can awaken love between men and women, can secure the favor of men and women, and achieve everything that has to do with love and propagation. 16, Alam, 17, Agam, 18, Albadi, 19, Agam, 20, Akalam, 21, Wikadiel 22, Adamil, 23, Asa. This group comprising eight intelligences is given the task of controlling, supporting and realizing, in accordance with the instructions given by divine providence, the divine ideas of philosophy, inspiration, art, beauty, music and all relevant talents. 24, Brim, 25, Acho, 26, Arohim, 27, Ardo, 28, Asim, 29, Astaf, 30, Ozid. The range of power of these seven intelligences covers the acquisition of magical faculties, personal beauty, power of attraction, knowledge of the magic of mummies with regards to love, etc. A magician is readily informed by these intelligences on how to acquire various magical faculties by love magic. They are inspirers in respect of love and its realization, not only for beings of the zone girdling the earth, but also for beings of other spheres. 31, Isa, 32, Isid, 33, Idmu, 34, Irumia 35, Idea, 36, Idovi, 37, Isil, 38, Ismi. This group of eight intelligences teach the magician to cause friendship, love, sympathy, in all spheres and planes by force of magic and quabella, applying, for this purpose, apartment rituals, ceremonies and gestures. 39, Inia, 40, Iom, 41, Imi, 42, Abladi 43, Idio, 44, Iskoa, 45, Igea. Dash this group consisting of seven intelligences of the Venus sphere is commissioned with the task of awakening and increasing intellectual faculties of making beauty, love, harmony perceptible, and explicable in all languages of the intellect. The range of power of these intelligences also covers the control, inspiration and realization of art and of all kinds of inventions. 46, Oro, 47, Oposa, 48, Adlo, 49, Alo, 50, Odedo, 51, Omo, 52, Ozasso. Dash these seven intelligences control the laws of harmony in the animal and vegetable kingdoms. They explain to the magician the influences of the Venus sphere on these two kingdoms, not only on our planet but also on all other planets of the universe. The range of power and knowledge of these intelligences includes the control and regulation of growth and fertility on all planets. 53, Ajago, 54, Okaf, 55, Ofma, 56, Ocha O, 57, Ooa, 58, Oka. 59, Otla, 60, Ojali. The above named eight intelligences inform the magician of the technical inventions of the human beings living on Venus and other planets. Above that, the magician is given details about all laws that are in force on the planet Venus. 61, Jega, 62, Jima, 63, Jejiga, 64, Garia, 65, Jesa, 66, Jesui. 67 Godar, 68, Guru. The above eight intelligences initiate the magician into the laws of the positive and negative principles. Furthermore, they instruct him in the effectiveness of the divine virtues on the Venus planet and in the Venus sphere. Apart from this, they reveal to the magician special methods which, by mummification of the oscillation of the Venus sphere in the magiquabalistic manner, bring about the favor of the beings of the Venus sphere as well as of the beings of all other spheres. These intelligences inform the magician also of many other theories and practices in magic and quabella. 69, Goma, 70, Goldro, 71, Jesdri, 72, Jezoa, 73, Jeshe, 74, Jaya, 75, Gurja. These seven intelligences allow the magician a glance into the workshop of divine providence, 
and the magician perceives the effectiveness of divine providence or of the Akasha principle on the Venus planet and the Venus sphere. Helped by these intelligences, the magician may behold the whole history of evolution of Venus and its sphere. The magician is also instructed in Kwabala by these intelligences. 76, Bureau, 77, Podm, 78, Boduma, 79, Pir, 80, Pure, 81, Plyse, 82, Pache, 83, Pay. This group of eight intelligences teach the cosmic language and its use in the Venus sphere. At the same time the magician is informed about the correlative influences of the individual spheres on the Venus planet and on its sphere and is also instructed in the practical application of these facts in magic and quabella. 84, Pamanp, 85, Pitophil, 86, Perman, 87, Pyomile, 88, Pisif, 89, Pidio, 90, Pymal. The magician is instructed by these intelligences in the divine orderliness of the universe, especially with regard to the Venus Shear, in its laws, symbolism, etc. These intelligences can, furthermore, initiate the magician into spheric quabalistic magic and its relation to love. The magician learns to evoke a state of happiness and ecstasy of love by using the quabala and magic having value in the Venus sphere. There are many other things that these intelligences can teach the magician who has got into contact with them. These short descriptions and hints will no doubt be sufficient for the experienced magician. I could, of course, give a more detailed picture of each individual intelligence, but must, however, desist from doing so for technical reasons. A full description of the whole range of competence of each individual intelligence of the Venus sphere in its relation to each planet and sphere to man, to the powers of the world of causes, their working methods, etc., would fill a whole book. It must therefore be left to the magician to gather practical experience from personal contacts with these intelligences. The magician, however, is once more warned about getting into permanent contact with just one intelligence, however beautiful that intelligence may be, however intelligent it may be for by and by this would be of disadvantage to the magician and would slowly result in a standstill on his way to perfection. When the magician steps onto the Venus planet, he will realize that this planet is inhabited by beautiful human beings who, apart from that, are, in comparison to man on earth, more advanced in knowledge and wisdom, in magic, art, literature, technology etc. The magician will be able to enlarge his knowledge greatly and will be taught many valuable teachings, methods, and hints under the seal of secrecy. A trained magician who by mental wandering is able to roam the planets and spheres with his mental body will also find men on the Venus planet who have been initiated into magic and quabala and he can, if he wishes, get into contact with these. Unlike the other inhabitants of the planet, he will not even have to take on the shape of a Venusian, the initiates the will, nevertheless, be able to perceive him and explain to him everything that he is interested in. Every magician will be astute enough to keep everything that he has learned a secret, for in the eyes of non-initiates his statements would not only be regarded as fairy tales, but they would be regarded as fancies that would cause people to laugh at him.